I'm in a little town called Bartolino, Italy, along the uh, shore of Lake Garda. I'm just looking for some gel here. Let's see what I've got. Watermelon. Blueberry. Fabula, that's strawberry. Uh, orange. Oh, gosh. Yeah, peach. Mm. Um, the Basco, which is like a blackberry. I think it's wildberry. Well, it's, yeah, it's actually wildberry. It's got blackberry, okay. strawberries, and red raspberries. Correcting me. Camera lady. And I got a cherries. This is plums. Mm -hmm. Apricots. The one thing you don't have, ironically, in an Italian grocery store, is great jelly. Because, as we know, the grape is not for jelly in Italy. Oh, here's some uh, pear. And... Uh, oh, we got some pineapple. But no grape jelly. We got uh, grape jelly from My Essentials. We have Concord grape jelly from Smuckers. We've got... Uh, well, this happens to be Hannaford brand. Uh, Concord grape preserves. I'm not sure the difference between preserves and jelly, but I suppose we could Google that and find out. And um, we do have other ones, apple and, and blackberry and so on. But um, 8 million types of jelly here in America uh, that are all grape because we use the grape for jelly, for wine, for um, raisins. I know it seems crazy that I want to sit around and talk about grapes, but I love grapes. We got green grapes, we got these um, red grapes. Grapes are a very interesting commodity because they are a final good in and of themselves. They, um, there's nothing you need to do but grow the grape and sell it. And there's a whole market for them, for people who love to have uh, fresh grapes all year long nowadays because Grapes are a wonderful crop. They grow in New York State, and there's a lot of great New York State grapes, but they grow in California. So we have East Coast, West Coast. We have places like France and, and Germany. They're big grape growers. We have places like Argentina and Australia now that are big grape growers. So you can have fresh grapes all year long because any time during the year, it's pretty much harvest season. Okay, so if you're using the grape for production of something else. Now, raisins, we got those, of course. And um, <clears throat> we have wine here in America. So in America, we use the grape for multiple things. As a final good, uh, just plain old grape, but as an intermediate good, as a factor of production, if you're trying to produce things. Now, interestingly enough, the grape soda here that I, I, I'd especially go out and purchase because I don't normally drink grape soda. Um, Artificial grape flavor, as well as red dye number one or blue dye number 40 or something like that, but um, can't be very good for you because it, it's grape soda that doesn't contain actual grapes. Now, in competition, in the final good market, we have things like blueberries. And we got raspberries. They're all competing in a final good market. So if I want some fresh fruit today, I've got multiple choices. But when I want soda, people will buy grape soda. They don't buy raspberry soda as frequently, a little bit. They have, uh, what is that, raspberry ginger ale. They don't buy much blueberry soda. But we buy blueberry muffins, but we don't buy grape muffins. We buy grape wine, but we don't typically buy blueberry wine or raspberry wine. So goods can compete in, as final goods, in, in this case here, blueberries and raspberries, but they may not com compete as intermediate goods. In America, the, the jelly market has changed. We now have a lot more to offer than just plain old grape. But uh, at this point in time, um, the Italian and the French markets, the grape is not for jelly.